Hey guys, one of the things I want to share with you today is a conversation about what it means to be willing to use self-care. I want to tell you that having self-care doesn't mean you're selfish. So let's get into it. One of the things that I really like to do is have candles or incense in my studio. Just having aromatherapy is really huge because it calms me out and it keeps me in a, in sort of a zen kind of mood when I'm working or when I'm doing anything on a video. Another thing I really like to do is sculpting. Abstract art or anything that may be, you know, just kind of going through my head and what, what can I do to work with more with my hands? You know, that, that keeps me motivated, it keeps me strong. But that doesn't make us selfish. You know, those are just a few things. And obviously I have my music. I'm always working on something new. I'm always working on a demo, but it's keeping me in a good place. It's keeping me in a strong mindset so that number one, I can be the best person and best version of myself for those that I serve in rehabilitation or those that are in my close social circle so that I can be a good role model or I can be a good listener when I need to be the one in the situation to receive information. Self-care helps us stay focused on being our most authentic self. So that's kind of just a quick little note for you. Let me know what your version of self-care is. What do you do? What is, what is something that you do? that keeps you in that good mindset and in that good mood. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks a lot.